were a lot of very animated private lunches with you and your colleagues, correct? I, look, I'm not interested in, in focusing on the disagreements between politicians in Washington. Well, I know you're not. Let, but, me just, but, let me just ask you about this, because one of your colleagues told me it was like an intervention, <laughs> that there were so many of your colleagues saying, you know, why are you doing this, and really angry at you. And I'm just wondering, even on a human mm -hmm. level, they, they, they told me that you really didn't flinch. On a human level, that's got to bother you, to be sitting in an institution like the Senate and having your, not Democrats, fellow Republicans so angry at you? Dana, not remotely. Because Why? the people I work for are the women and men you just saw. I work for 26 million Texans. That's my job to fight for them. I don't work for the party bosses in Washington. I work for the people of Texas and I fight for them. And the reason people are frustrated all over the country is that far too many people get elected and they think they're there to be part of the club. You know what was very interesting about, about some of those closed door discussions? What I said in those closed door discussions, I would have said the exact same thing if CNN's camera were sitting in the room. What I say privately to my colleagues is the same thing I say publicly. And you know what's interesting? Virtually every person in that room that was criticizing what Mike Lee and I were doing would have said very different things if a camera was in this room because what they're telling their constituents is very different from what they're saying behind closed doors. And Dana, that's how you get a $17 trillion national debt. You don't get a national debt larger than our economy without a whole lot of Republicans being complicit in out of control spending and debt and, and the policies that have ground our economy to a halt.